have been MIA for a little while, man, but I had a little work and stuff to do to uh, Silverado. Yeah, so and, right now, man, this truck been leaking. So I had to go get some stuff, man. Gotta do work on this truck. It's always something. It's always something. Yeah, I had to win it. Uh, give me a condenser. Also had some work to do to the uh, to the GMC man. The flywheel was cracked, and um, I took it to the shop, man. I let the shop do that, man, because I was tired, man. I wasn't for the uh, bag no transmission out, man, and uh, change the flywheel. So I'm gonna show y'all a, a clip of how that flywheel was. Man was riding on a prayer, but the shop out there in Millington, they took care of me. And um, now let's move on. Let's open up these uh, few things I got for the Chevy, man, because y'all know I had the dent on the quarter panel, so I had a few things that I had to order, so let's open up these packs. Got the big box right there. Got the small box, small little package right there. So let's open this up real quick. Yeah, got that uh, driver side rear wheel trim. Gotta have that trim back on there because as y'all can see, my quarter panel was uh, dented in by the accident. Not on this car, but uh, and uh, the quality of these, they ain't as uh thick is uh the original ones that go on the car but it's gonna it's gonna get the job done yep it's gonna get the job done gotta put that trim back on there yeah see when they paint the car they gotta uh put the pinstripe on but this is a pinstripe that i got from online this is a purple pinstripe and i also got the gold i had two pinstripes on it so this is the one that I had to order online and the gold one I can get from O'Reilly's. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this to the shop, take all this stuff to the shop. And uh, I hadn't been to the shop, but I'm gonna see what they got going on at the shop. Alright, you 
YouTube. Right now, you see I'm in the old GMC, man. Got my parts down there. We headed to the shop. The shop is Collision Works. I used, I actually used to work there like seven, seven years ago or so, man. Them guys do good work in there. I actually had to take it from the other shop because it seemed like the other shop was kind of backed up a little bit. Uh, and, uh, you know, it just seemed like they wasn't going to get to it in time or whatever. Didn't have a lot of time to get to it. So, I decided to switch up the shop, man, and take it to this body shop called Collision Works. Man, I don't look, it don't look like these guys open today. I know they usually open half a day on Saturday, so let's see what's going on here. I guess they not open. But anyway, this is the shop. Collision Works. I don't guess they're open. I thought they usually open up. I thought they usually open up on a Saturday. But I guess not. Let me call, call my guy JJ and see. I need to put an air compress on this thing too. Not open today. I thought they usually be open on Saturday, but uh, they ain't they ain't open today. So we gonna come back another day and uh, check it out. Now I'm about to head to the junkyard. I actually need to go get see, uh, let somebody put this truck on a time, timing, uh, timing gun, timing light, man. But right now I'm just gonna head to the junkyard and uh, I'm actually gonna look for a carburetor in intake, which I know I'm not gonna find one. I just need the car to run, you know, take that throttle body off of that car. So let's see what we run. Yeah, they wasn't at the shop. So I came home today, man, and I wanted to start tampering around with this car. And man, YouTube, I finally fixed the problem on why I was stuttering. If you go back on my videos, you'll see that I was trying to drive the car somewhere and it kept stuttering and all that, but I finally fixed the problem. You know, I bought a temperature sensor, that didn't work. So I tried one more thing, and guess what the problem was? My timing was off. My timing was too low. So I advanced the timing just a little bit and now it pick up speed. Check engine light ain't on, none of that. Everything is working good with it. And now I'm good to go with this car. So the only thing left is to uh, check out some things with this truck, man. It got a little nice little light tap to it. Of course, the timing is off, so I'm gonna get someone to put a timing light on it and check it out, man, because right now I'm not ready to take the engine out or swap it or nothing like that, man. And I also scored, used Flowmaster. It looked like it was pretty good. Found me a used Flowmaster from the junkyard, man. I paid 20 bucks for it. And I also, uh, I'm gonna order the matching one to go with this one. And I guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably end up putting it on the truck, put both sets, put the set on the truck, or I might just put the set on here. But at the same time, I also got the thrush welded muffler. It's probably the same thing as a 40 series Flowmaster. You know, it's not probably as aggressive. So if I don't order another one of these and put both on here, you know, ain't no telling. I might just order that one flow master, that other flow master to go with that one and put it on one of these vehicles. Cause they say it sound good on the uh, Silverado. That thrush welded sounds good on the Silverado, man. But um, yeah, man, I ain't been doing much. Been working on the road, so I keep you guys updated on the purple box Chevy. See how things go with that one. 